guys welcome back to another m creator lore video so today what we're going to be working on is those hay blocks um mainly the hay or thatch i guess uh we need one for a solid block uh one for stairs and one for the um uh, slabs so there will be a total of two textures that we need to create one end piece and the side piece I wasn't too happy with how this actually turned out in the end so I will probably end up redesigning the textures um, I just found it very limiting with the four four shades that we did have most um, textures for blocks and stuff use at least five, so we'll probably have to cut, create another uh, texture for the the thatch. Right now I'm only working with four, so that's probably where the issue came in, but um, we can always recreate them and uh, update the blocks later on. That won't be an issue, so... Um, Outside of that, basically, I just basically started working on the textures and just trying to get it all set up like this. And then I needed to add a little bit more detail between them. And again, I was just trying to get it as much separated as possible and as much detail as possible in these little spaces with four pixels. But um, it would be probably better if we took a little bit more time as well as actually get um, the uh, another shade in for this particular texture so uh, we could always improve it later that won't be an issue the the one that I don't like the most out of the two that I worked on today was probably the um, the end piece and there's issues with it mainly the way that I designed it and stuff like that we'll have to go back and see if we can't improve that in the future it was just the pattern that I used it wasn't really seamless but I tried to make it seamless but it is like this texture isn't too bad like it, it will work if we add a little bit more detail to it and stuff but um the the, the end piece I had the most uh problems with but we used this one mostly for the stairs and the um slabs as well as actually the block as well so um, we can always improve that so I needed to select a new palette for the texture now this one I was basically trying to make like an end piece similar to how the hay block uh, has but as you can see like there's a couple like the, a single pixel on the end generally you don't want that to happen um, mainly because it will not be seamless if you don't have that extra one going down. So basically that was my first issue. I should have probably paid more attention to that when I was actually texturing it because that, that little dot on the edge is obviously not connected to another pattern that I just placed. So um, yeah, that was partly the issue with one of the problems with that, but I tried to make it work and it just doesn't look as good in game than I was hoping for. So we'll probably improve this probably next episode or after that. I don't know, we'll figure something out. But overall, the pattern was nice. It's just, it's not feasible for a seamless thing to make it look good. So we'll probably improve it later on. And I, I was just trying to play around with the pixels a little bit more to get it on the opposite side there. Like this would work, but it just doesn't because of the that one single pixel on the end there. I'm sure if we spaced out the pixels um, one extra block in space around the sides there, we could have probably gotten away with it. But um, again, uh, just my mistake when I was actually working on it. I did throw it into a th uh, 32 by 32 texture just to see what it would look like. And I did notice that it was doubling up on the pixels there. So that's not exactly what I wanted for the thing. I did try shifting them a little bit just so it would kind of work but again it doesn't it's not seamless where it will be a good texture and stuff like that so we'll we'll have to end up redesigning this entire thing and the top one it also had the same issue so I had to move the top um, a little bit to the left and then basically input the texture there but overall it, it works for now uh, we'll improve it later on but um, at the moment that's basically what we kind of got it's not great but it will work for now just for testing and stuff um, 
But yeah, those were the two textures that I made today, and then I started working on the actual blocks. Those needed to um, get the two textures imported, and then I needed to set up the blocks and figure out how I was going to do that with the um, built-in version for slabs and stairs. So uh, basically I imported the textures, and then I went ahead and went to the blocks tab, and then under foliage, and then I basically went ahead and put it under plants or other, and then I created one called thatch, and I created the first block, which is going to be the solid block, and I needed to select the sides and the ends, which would allow me to set up the log rotation type. And this will allow us to basically um, make it like a hay bale and have it so when we place it onto a block, it will act similar to logs and stuff, which will be really important when we're actually building and stuff. All right, so I needed to check the uh, wiki for the hardness and resistance because I wasn't sure what this was. It's uh, apparently 0 0.5, so uh, we can set that for all our blocks here. And I didn't, I up, applied a tool, but I don't have it as a requirement. And the hitbox uh, can be broken with a hand. I also needed to set the color on the map. And later on, I ended up going back and adding flammability to the block as well, because it is thatch. So it would be flammable because it's organic matter. So it would make sense to have flammability for it. And then I needed to set up the stairs and I think the slabs after that. So I basically was just going through the stairs and basically setting up the models. I wanted to try it with the end pieces at first just to uh, see if it would basically work um, with what I was kind of hoping for and how it would actually look overall but I wasn't sure if it was going to work or not but um, well and I ended up going with just the side texture overall all right so once I got the uh, settings all set up I basically set the uh, flammability to 10 I figured that would probably be good enough for the block and then I did the same for the um, the actual block itself and then the stairs so uh, the next thing that I needed was the slabs because we're going to need slabs for some of the roof types and stuff like that so it's really important to have the option for slabs as well just in case we need to actually build with it so I wanted to uh, set up the settings set the same settings make sure that the flammability is 10 and the other properties that we needed for the uh, recipes and stuff like that. So uh, once we got the um, hardness and resistance done, we can move on to the um, flammability and then we set the blocking and other properties. We don't use any of the other things because it's just a building block. So we'll basically just leave it as that and then we can go ahead and I wanted to see if there was any other blocks that we might need for building uh, roofs and stuff and uh, I was just going through the list to see if there was anything that would really be a pickable for actually making it now once I was in game I basically threw it all together and I wanted to see what it looked like uh, when I basically had it on the sides and stuff and then I started uh, replacing the roof just to kind of see what it would overall look like. Now the the general look of it, I didn't mind like the the shade and everything. The problem with it I had was mainly the end parts, and this could basically just be fixed by the replacing the end parts on the stairs and slabs with the um the side texture so like the uh regular top slash side texture so i figured that would probably look better for the actual sides and stuff uh right now it just kind of look looks a little bit pixelated um i was going to try to do it through on the top here just to kind of see what it would look like and replace the other side of the roof as well but i wasn't sure like like i was still experimenting with the block itself i wanted to make sure that it was 
um, going to fit in with the theme and everything like that and still kind of work with uh, the existing blocks that we had, right? So um, if we needed to adjust the, the, the tone of them or any of the settings, then I wanted to make sure that it was going to work with the other blocks. The color itself seems to work just fine. It's just the side textures mainly. So I ended up going back into M Creator and basically playing around with it, replacing the sides after I played around with the model, tried to get a feel of it. And I, yeah, I, I, I overall decided that it would probably be better just to uh, replace the sides and stuff like that with the um, actual thing. So basically I was just experimenting with the roof. We'll probably make a procedurally generated um, structure like this. So we can basically apply the roof and everything like that. Maybe different wall types, um, different um, decor um, parts and stuff like that. But um, I wanted to just kind of see what we could come up with. Like when we need to actually start making the structures and stuff, I want to have the blocks available and then we can, you know, expand off of that when we need it and stuff. But um, yeah, I kind of like it like this, but I wasn't sure if I wanted the logs to go kind of along the end like that. We'll probably make a procedurally generated one, like structure very similar to this, uh, maybe with two floors and using jigsaw blocks. So it'll kind of like randomly generate. So after testing and stuff like that, I, want, I, I did determine that it, I needed to uh, update the textures for the stairs and slabs. And once I'd done that, it actually looked a lot better. I just wanted to see what it would look like with the uh, thatch like that. And I honestly think it looks better with the, the bordered part at the bottom. Um, it just feels better that way, but I don't know. Um, we'll play around with it. Like, obviously we can procedurally generate a lot of this. It's, um, mostly just walls and stuff that we created. So we could, in theory, uh, change the decorations on the exterior and make a lot of the components of the house custom. And then we can, I don't know, make something out of it, I guess. Uh, maybe some different rooms and stuff like that. But um, I wanted to actually play around with this in probably the future. If we have time next episode, then we'll see if we can't work on it a little bit more. Um, I did start working on kind of like a procedurally generated system over here. I needed to create like some, like a foundation for the structure and stuff. And then we could basically add on to that, like the sides and stuff like that for the structure. Like I wanted to see if I could put together as much detail that I have here with a single structure, right? So I think the easiest way is to have actually like a foundation and then basically build up based on that, uh, like a set floor plan. And then you can basically randomize the components either in the rooms or on the walls, things like that. Uh, that would probably work really well. So um, we'll see if we can't create that with uh, using jigsaw blocks and some data pack uh, manipulation, but uh, we'll have to figure out how we're going to be doing this. Um, yeah, basically, I was just wanted to see what I could come up with, like with the system that we have. And if I'm putting the walls in and stuff, I would probably want to put them over on either this side or down below maybe. Um, basically, I think I was originally going to put them on the sides like this and then connect them up. But I, I, I realized that they would need to be in that spot of the jigsaw block. So I ended up having to move them into the foundation. So that's one of the things with the jigsaw blocks. You kind of have to know where you're going to be actually placing the blocks and stuff like that for the settings. So I think these would work having the jigsaw blocks like this and we could determine what pool to basically generate the walls from and we could have different types of walls and stuff like that. Maybe some with flower paws, maybe some with hedges, things like that. Maybe there will be upper floor um, blocks 
and some other things. I don't know. We'll play around with it next episode and try to d develop a structure that we can develop something with. And then I wanted to add a second floor so we could basically do something like that instead. And we could probably have even a fallback to put a roof instead on there. Uh, that might work as well. But um, I don't know. We'll play around with it. And I wanted to get the walls set up. So basically setting up the, the windows and the, um, the door as well as just a regular wall for today. And I was just going to put like an outline around the the place so we can know where the structure will actually be. So when we expand out a little bit, we can set up the pillars like this. And then the pillars can kind of go into the support systems like right underneath here. And I think that would work pretty well for what we need. We'll have to set up the rotation and stuff, I think for some of the rotation parts i will have to kind of design it in a way for the pillar part because it doesn't really it's it's hard to keep the mbt data and it will look a little bit odd if we don't do it correctly so i need to be very careful on how i'm setting it up but um, the next thing that i needed was kind of like setting up the wall part we'll replace those blocks the jigsaw blocks with the um, blocks that we have had there originally and then we needed like a door for this particular one so again I just needed to figure out where I was going to be putting the door and stuff and then set up the door on that side there so it all matches up so that was important for that part to be set up the way it is and then I can go ahead and work on the um the next part for the upper floor now if we at end up adding a roof then what I want it to do is I want it to basically um, go out to that part there. But for now, we'll put some lights on it and then we can always change those lights with something else if we want something there uh, for detail work or anything like that. But f we can use, um, what is it, the pool, um, was it, I can't remember what it is. It's uh, basically like a, uh, a list that, uh, processor list, that's what it is. Uh, we can use processor list to remove um, the lanterns and stuff randomly. But if we're going to add stairs, we'll probably have to end up adding um, this kind of system over here. So we can basically set it up like that. We might end up making that part of the upper floor, actually. I'm not sure how we're going to end up doing that for the actual structure, but... Because I want to add an upper floor option, but not have it always up like upgrade to the upper floor, right? So um, that's going to be a little bit more tricky if we want to do something with stairs, right? So we might have to figure out how we're going to be end up doing that with the jigsaw block. Well, we'll play around with it a little bit and see what we can come up with. But um, the important thing is to just get the foundational stuff set up. And then we can experiment with it later in next episode. We'll start figuring out um, the upper floor part and setting up the finer detail parts and stuff like that. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, we'll work on this a little bit more and then we'll probably call it a day. Uh, we don't have much more time outside of that. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.